Hey everyone, Candy Games here. Today we're going over a preview of the Zen Dev plugin. The plugin provides a couple of tools to help you with your day-to-day -day task within the editor uh, as a game developer. For first, we're going to go over the Zen Mode plug uh, feature in the in the plugin. The Zen Mode will allow you to quickly toggle the side panels in various different editors with a, a key binding of your choice. So we're going to go ahead and click the Z key here, which is the default. And all of those side panels were closed automatically for us. If we press it back, they all come back. If you close place actors and you only have these, it will only reopen the ones that you had open before. And you can see place actors didn't open up again. And you can configure that in the settings. This works in blueprint editors, the material editor, widget editors, the animation blueprint editor. And if you have any others that uh, you, you would like to have added, just let us know and we can work together on adding support for that editor because there are a lot of them. Um, you can also have set, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the settings. So if you go to edit, edit preferences, editor preferences, and you scroll down here to the side under plugins and look at Zen mode, uh, you can whether or not to enable or disable closing the panels at all, uh, or whether or not to attempt to only show prior panels. So if this is turned off, then it will, um, it'll show all of the panels available, not just the ones that you had open. So we only have three, uh, three here, but when we reopen, you can see it all, it opened the bookmarks, the compiler results, find results, and palette. Uh, I personally like having this checked, but I could see you having that use case. The toggle method, if you're in UE5, you can ch uh, choose to use the sidebar here. I believe it is turned on by default, where instead of having them closed, when you hide them, uh, they're docked to the sidebar here, and they, you can still quickly access them uh, and, and bring them back that way. And that, that's what the sidebar method is in UE5. If you have it selected for UE4, it'll just revert back to the close method. You can enable uh, whether or not these different editors are enabled for, for Zen mode. And then for each of the panels with for each of the editors, you can enable fine tune what their behavior is. You can either disable the panel from being able to toggle with the shortcut, or you can choose one of four shortcuts to, to work with. For example, you might want to have uh, two of the panels on, on when you press Z and three of the panels when you press Control Z uh, or, or some other key bind of your choice. Z, the shortcut one is the only one that's configured by default, but you can add more that way. So if we go to, uh, you can either go to the keyboard shortcuts or you could just type in the search details here for Zen and you can see all under keyboard shortcuts, we have four different shortcuts. Z is configured by default, but you can go ahead and assign a different shortcut, uh, a, a different key bind for shortcut two, and then change that panel uh, uh, to use shortcut two instead of shortcut one. So whenever you type Z in a level editor, it'll do all the ones that have sh uh, shortcut one. If you typed, uh, if you said like control M here, and you went back to the settings here and you said, uh, I want the world settings to be shortcut two. So now if we go back to the level editor and we press Z, uh, what we would want to have is the world settings will stay shown when I press Z, but will hide when I press control M. So I guess that didn't work. Oh, we didn't have it open. So if we go and open up the world settings here, and now if we press Z, you can see world settings is here. If we press Z, they come, the other two come back. If we press Control M, if it is not a conflicting, the level editor binds a lot of different keyboards uh, shortcuts. So you have to find a keyboard shortcut that works with the editor. Uh, in UE4, the level editor binds to a lot of different keys by default. UE5 has less of this issue because they made changes to the level editor uh, to not bind. So I found a shortcut here, F11, uh, which when I press F11, you can see the world settings uh, toggles, but not the others. 
Uh, I also configured uh, one of these, the, my blueprint, to do it as well, too, here. Um, so a little bit difficult to do it with the level editor, but as long as you can find a shortcut that works with the level editor. Other editors work pretty well. Um, so that's the Zen mode settings here. Oh, and again, I did say like you could, just, for a material editor, maybe you could say, I don't want to, I want to focus on the preview instead of the graph. So you could disable the preview and focus on the graph here. And so now when we toggle Zen mode, it focuses on the preview of the material instead of the graph itself. Um, so you have a lot of configurable options here. So that's Zen mode. In UE4, Zendev comes with another feature, which is the content drawer. UE5 came out with this feature called the content drawer, which allows you to have this quick and easy access content browser to click and drag things into your various different assets, or if you're doing it in level design. Well, I've brought that back over to UE4, and so now you have this content drawer, which acts very similarly to the one in UE5. Uh, you can't dock it to the layout, but you can still click and drag it. Uh, we have to use a different keybind because of the level editor shortcut issues, but if you press Control D, which is the default, you can change it if you would like. Uh, that will toggle it open and toggle it back close from in the editor. So you can see we have it here in, in, in the blueprint, a material editor, the widget editor, so that's super useful if you're using UE4 and you want to use the content drawer that was brought to you in UE5, but you're not yet ready to go to 5, uh, Zendev also provides that to you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below on the Marketplace or join us in Discord and ask us there. Links are in the description below. All right, until next time, thanks.